the other day I mentioned that I'm going through a few things and I feel like it's time to shake my world up a little bit. Someone mentioned to me that I'm coming up on my seven year itch. So right now I'm living the sixth year of my van life. On September 11th, I start year number seven. Maybe, maybe the seven year itch is a thing. Good morning, everyone. Ooh. I like these shoes got the little, the little uh, hole there and there. So you can like hold the shoe and mm, give her a good pull on there. Genius, like if other shoes don't do that, or they all like that. Oh crap. <laughs> this one has a hook on it too, but it's so small I can't get my finger through it. I kinda, every shoe I have in here has got a little hooky thing. Huh. Is it just me that never noticed that, or is that just every shoe I seem to buy has got a... These ones are great, man. They fit the fat finger. It's perfect. Okay. Oh, man. Fresh black shirt, and I'm already covered in dog hair. Ah, <laughs> uh, my dog is a hairy bugger. <laughs> so, uh, I'm turning my camera back on, on a daily. I don't know if the videos are going to go up every day, but I'm going to go back to filming my every day. Yeah, we're, we're wrapping up things on the island here. I'm just waiting for my dentist stuff to come around here in a couple of days. But yeah, man, I'm, uh... I'm just gonna run my camera all day, every day. Back to, back to daily van life, my friends. Back to the daily. Usual. Crazy. Still in bed. Cruzy peed on the floor. And the problem I have with these mats is they soak in like and there's no getting that stuff out of there once that pee is in there baby this foam does not dry out and i've tried to pressure wash them and hang them and ah bro you need to start barking in the middle of the night buddy you bark at me for everything else do you bored you're bored with me getting mad at you you bark for everything else you want. You bark for me when you want my attention, or you bark for me when you want food, but not when you need to go out in the middle of the night. Hey, I'm really sorry, buddy. I'm sorry I didn't notice. Hey. He feels really bad every time that happens, and I usually know when something's up because he uh, always looks at me like, has dad noticed? He's got these shifty little eyes all the time. Did Nat, did, did Dad notice? <laughs> anyway, guys, just grab myself a coffee here. We're gonna squeeze out a quick edit. My van build has held up like hugely. And you guys know I'm not easy on stuff. I have beat the crap out of this build. Sure, it could use a sanding down and a repaint and a restain. But this thing is just solid and everything held together. But you can tell all the corners on these are all kind of messed up. You know, over here you can see the scrape marks from where this desk slides down. You can see the nick marks all along here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the build has lasted me this whole time and showing no signs of needing repair which is a beautiful thing a few screws to continually keep it to the van obviously but on the actual build side of it overland interiors that did a majority of this this birch baltic birch uh build is never bunched and that cabinet there was built by j5 custom vans it's been there for years never had a hiccup or a, pro or a problem with it um, the occasional door being shifted around, but all in all, man, this build has held up really well. I guess what brings me, what makes me bring this up is, is my need for a change. And I don't know if that change is me needing to just rock my world up by, by saying bye to the home that built everything. And I know this is just a crazy thought. I don't want to get rid of this home. I love this home with everything I've got. But 
I also have a big old ambulance at the shop, which will be the next stage. And I also have that big shop van too, which is a perfect replacement for this one. It's got less rust. It's got more power with the, with the diesel engine. I pondered on shifting this build into that one. I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear about some of this stuff a little bit over the next over the next while as I try to figure out this this shift in my world I feel it coming I know it's here I don't know what it is but I feel like I need to to make a change and uh, maybe I shave my head I don't know maybe it's <laughs> I don't know I don't know maybe it's a new tattoo maybe that's the shift I don't have no idea maybe I get a big fat neck tattoo or my chest or my leg or who knows guys anyway i gotta i gotta squeeze out an edit this one should be a short one it's um just my gas video so it's just a lot of blah 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 blah, blah. and tim hortons you guys need to man up and sponsor my channel i'm sick and tired of paying for my morning coffee <laughs> Every couple of years, I seem to go through this. So about 20 months ago, I rented a shop just to shake my world up. Greatest thing I did to my life in a long time. But we're coming up on two years in that space and I feel like it's time to shake my world up again. Maybe it's the ADD, the undiagnosed hyper deficit advantage that I have that my mind doesn't ever wanna stop. But I feel like it's time for flipping things around again. But in this video, I said some things that I might want to take back. I'm pretty sure I did say in another video that I wasn't going to stockpile wet wipes on this trip. Huh? <laughs> Here I am, stocking wet wipes. <laughs> ah. That's all right. You can never have enough wet wipes. Especially going into Northern BC pretty soon. I can imagine what a pack of wet wipes at the store is going to cost. <laughs> Cruzy, I had to come here and buy some new mats. What happened last night, buddy? The, uh, the other mats that Costco had before had a rougher top, more of like a rubberized top. But these ones are like sponges. But I bought myself another set because we kind of need them. They didn't have any black ones, so I bought gray ones. We knock a little notch out of here. And pretty sure I made this video before. <laughs> All right, there we go. Not sure if I dig the two different color differences there, but uh, it's all good. They didn't have any more black ones. With every change I've ever made, it's always come with this really huge high. Maybe the high of getting the shop has kind of mellowed out a little bit, and now I'm chasing that little feeling again. Maybe I'm just a fiend for change. I don't know, but my friends, something's gonna happen soon. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't get enough of this thing. I have company over there. There's another Sprinter van over there, but that's, uh, looks like that's it. Oh, and there's a minivan in the far corner over there. Other than that, it's just us here at Costco. I've been thinking about uh, ripping my front seat out of my van. For real. Like, legit. This fan's loud. Like, legit. Taking my passenger seat out of my van. So, I'm heading over here. Um probably tomorrow maybe the next day to the lower mainland to go see my daughter one last time before i hit the road and um after that visit i think i might rip the seat out i think i should rip the seat out like uh, <laughs> here i'm thinking out loud so my thought is because Cruz just uses the seat there's that swivel base that i don't use very often but I have some things that I have to take with me on my summer travels this year. It's going to be cumbersome because I bought the kayak and I would like to keep the kayak up there in my rooftop carrier, but there's a few other things I need to bring because of one of my main channel sponsors that I have to put in my van for my travel season that uh, I don't normally hold in my van all the time. 
and I gotta make room for it. So my thought was is maybe ripping out the front seat and building a box where the seat is. I'm just spitballing right now because I don't even know if I have time before I leave to build a box. If I do, it's probably gonna be mighty shady looking. So up here, remove the seat because Cruz only uses from like here forward. So he rubs his butt up against here and lies down there on top of my poo bucket. But all this space underneath here is kind of useless. I have an amplifier and stuff down there, which I didn't think about till just now when having to move it. But anyway, that's a small thing. But my thought is to build a box here that goes all the way along. I build the back on it so Cruzy has a little bit of a backing. Then we have all this under here as storage while I travel. I don't know. I don't know if I should rush a project like this because it might be nice to make it nice and pretty. But I also was thinking about making it so I can remove it and put the seat back in when I come back. The only one that actually sits in that seat is my daughter. <laughs> and she's, I'm not gonna see her now until I get back in the winter time. So technically the seat I can put back in later. Just think about building a temporary box. You know my su subwoofer box that was there? I had to take the subwoofer box out because if I don't build the box here and remove this seat, I have to put the Jackery products and stuff like that here for when I travel because I won't have any other room anywhere else. So I removed the subwoofer box. It'd be pretty dope to put the subwoofer box back in there, have all the storage I need underneath there and have all the base that I need to keep my summer fun. I don't know guys, what do you think? I, ask, I don't know why I'm asking you guys. And yeah, it'd be nice to have a place to put my you know, my extra stuff, like my two different sets of sandals. It'd be nice to have a little spot over there, even back here. I could build some shelves in the back there, so these can just be stuck inside of a... Sh I don't know, man. I'm just thinking that's, that's a highly functional space that I'm not taking advantage of. I'm also worried that I take the day to build that thing, and it's ugly as... <laughs> I don't know if I could ever sell this van. You guys want to buy a van? Make me an offer. <laughs> Did I just say that? I didn't mean that. I, I seriously, I seriously didn't mean that. Oh my gosh. Life, man. It's time for something, baby. It's time for something to flip upside down and do something crazy again. Maybe it's just being stuck here right now, like feeling like I just wanna go travel, but I can't. Maybe that's what's causing this feeling. Maybe when I hit the road, all this feeling goes away. Sorry, Van. Sorry for everything that I said. Sorry I told everybody to make me an offer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it could be, I could hit the road and all of a sudden, bada boom, all these feelings go away. We've been on this island a lot more than I was expecting this winter. I thought for sure we would get a little bit more traveling in, but that shop just sucked me in this year. <laughs> it, did, it, did, it did. I just couldn't get away from it. Something about it was like, go to the shop. My brain wanted to go up, get coffee, get all that done. I was just My brain was like, go to the shop. Um, so yeah, we'll see, guys. Anyway, make me an offer. Jokes. All jokes. Just got a message from the owner of the shop asking me if I had a chance to leave yet. <laughs> Mark was telling me that it's his dad's 65th birthday, so Randy, happy birthday. Oh, we're arriving in Vancouver, baby. there's not too many campers down here this is probably where I'll sleep tonight but a boom baby hey where are you going you stay close to home buddy if this spot looks familiar this is one of the spots that I stay at every time I seem to come out this way 
is I check down here first and if there's way too many campers down here, I usually move on to somewhere else. Here is not bad, there's a few scattered ones down the street, so I'm okay with that. I just sometimes don't like to park places where there's like 30 of them in a row. I don't wanna to add to the already squat look, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I usually move on, uh, move on at that point, but uh, it looks pretty good down here and uh, it's a weekend, so half this thing's probably not even open. I got a few things at my mailbox. One of them here is from Leo. Uh, Leo, thank you. And if this is the same Leo that used to send me pods of licorice, thank you for not sending me any more licorice. As much as I love the licorice, I just smashed those giant boxes in no time. Uh, you gave me some shampoo for Cruzy, and it's so awesome that you kind of gave this to me because uh, sometimes when I'm out there using that uh, Julka hot tap shower, I was like, well, do I wash Cruz with a bar of soap? This is kind of awesome to have in the van. So Leo, thank you for thinking about Cruz. So on the note here, it says, so you can wash Cruz in the bush too on your travels this summer from Leo. You hear that, buddy? Now you can have a bath, bro. You can have a bath, buddy, in the bush. You're probably not going to thank Leo very much later, I bet ya. And I got a box here from my buddy Andy. So Andy's the guy who built all this beautiful woodwork you see here behind me. And I always fear opening up boxes from Andy, especially when they're wood. Because the last time I opened up something from Andy, it, uh, it was full of man glitter. <laughs> the guys at the mailbox thought this was a bomb. They're like, what is that, a bomb? So what I mean by man glitter is Andy has a CNC shop and sometimes he packs whatever he sends me full of sawdust just to remind me of what it was like to hang out at his shop for well the whole time this thing was being built. All right, you guys ready? Nothing popping out of here yet? <laughs> oh, Andy, never fails, brother, never fails. <laughs> I think Andy literally just sent me an entire, entire box of sawdust. Bro, what were you supposed to do with all this sawdust? Cheers, bro. What do you think it is, Cruzy? I see a beer can. He's <laughs> like digging for treasure. We're gonna do this outside, Cruzy. Farm League Brewing. Hey, that's the, that's the one. Shed. That's the brewery by Andy's place that we used to, we used to get beer from when we built my van. Now that's familiar. <laughs> I appreciate all the sawdust, bro. It's kind of awesome that, uh, a subscriber reaches out to me and says, hey bro, can I build the inside of your van for you? And then uh, after a bit of me saying no, he sent me a couple of sketches and said, hey, kind of like this stuff, I can build this and whatever else you can dream about. And then I went out to Ontario and, and this, this came out of that whole scenario. And one thing I didn't expect to come out of that scenario was uh, a lifelong brother, you know what I mean? A friend that I'm gonna be friends with forever. So, for those of you who have been around since that long, me and Andy talk pretty much on a weekly basis. Whether it's just a couple text messages or Andy calls me randomly out of nowhere just to say, what's up bro, happy Friday. Um, I love you brother. Six pack of beer, no sawdust. <laughs> All right, tonight for dinner, we're gonna make this pad thai stuff I get from Costco. Look at it. Ah, uh, we got uh, sugar cubes all over in here. Let's uh, let's throw them in this box here. Be easy, man. Just let that heat up and fold this in until the noodles are softened up. It's pretty great, man. Break this into a couple of meals. It's perfect. I have uh, a couple of these at my shop, one on one on the main table beside my computer and then one uh, 
on my uh, main table. It's a cell phone holder and it's pretty awesome to be doing like some hands-free stuff while you're you know sitting somewhere instead of holding it in your hand and trying to eat it just props up right there man so if i want to if i want to flip through whatever it is youtube i got it right here bada bang it's pretty great so i thought i'd bring it with me on my summer travels because i'm always like holding my phone and my pinky gets sore do you guys hold your phone with your pinky at the bottom <laughs> my pinky gets sore right there from holding it so i'm like what am i doing i'm gonna bring one of these from the shop it's a great idea what can I do for you, sir? <laughs> this is a little spicy, bro. It'll burn your bum. And it'll burn your bum. For real. I got some pretty cool news. So my daughter Danica got her learner's license a while ago and she's going in to take her driver's test soon. So the conversation's been around about, about her looking at cars and stuff. So her mom messaged me and we decided to go have Z's and we bought Danica a car. Um, pretty lucky kid, man. When I was 16, nobody bought me a car. Danica, you deserve every little piece of this. And I'm pretty stoked, man. That, that, that's a pretty cool looking car. But when I was 16, how I got my first car is I just kept borrowing my mom's. I'd borrow it and I'd borrow it and I'd keep borrowing it. Before you know it, I was driving it more than her. Then I tinted the windows and put a fat stereo in it. My mom was still okay with that. She didn't mind the vibration of the stereo. She kind of thought it was pretty cool. And uh, the tinted windows kind of made it cooler in the summer, so she was okay with that. And then I decided to take it out one day without, her tell without telling her, and we chopped the springs on it. <laughs> We literally chopped this much out of the coils and I put a set of hunter spoke wire wheels on it. I turned my mom's Ford Tempo <laughs> into a low rider. That's when my mom was like, ah, freaked out. And she's like, I'll never drive that again. You might as well take it. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> That's how I got my first car. I slowly customized my mom's until she hated it. <laughs> I can't believe I did that to a Ford Tempo, though. Of all vehicles, a Ford Tempo. I've been a car guy since I was really young. Uh, but congratulations on the new car, Danica. I think this is uh, this is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I'm really proud of that kid. She's an honor roll student, and the career path that she wants to go down blows my freaking mind. She wants to be a forensic scientist or something she's been wanting this dream since as far back as i can remember they even asked her last time i'm like you still want to do that she's like yeah so uh really proud of that kid i was never good in school and and uh she deserves that 100 for sure anyway guys i'm gonna let you all go i'm actually sitting here in my underpants i'm not kidding in my underpants <laughs> If I didn't turn my camera up, but put my camera down there, you guys wouldn't have known. So we're going to let you go before things get weird. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all very soon. Peace out, y'all.